for us to be here today. The first would be the staff of North Point Expeditionary Learning Academy. from Expeditionary Learning. He has supported the development and design of this school for the past eight years, and I can never thank him enough for making this some of his life work. <coughs> Finally, I want to thank all of you, the parents that are in the audience. You brought us your child a few years ago and entrusted us with their care. These students sitting on this stage were born roughly 18 years ago. For many of you in the audience, that probably seems like just yesterday, and here we are. Perhaps this will help you to grasp the passing of time. 18 years ago, your desktop computer upgraded to Windows 95. 18 years ago, a federal building in Oklahoma City was bombed, killing almost 200 people. 18 years ago, the O.J. Simpson trial filled the daytime television while you were waiting for this baby to be born. 18 years ago, the musical icon Jerry Garcia passed away. And no, that's not an ice cream flavor. <laughs> 18 years ago, a brand new device came into our homes. It was an optical disc computer storage media. We now call it a DVD. They have always known DVDs to exist. The students on this stage academically were the very first group of third graders to take high stakes nationalized tests as a part of No Child Left Behind. They are the children not to be left behind. These students have always watched full length computer animated films, the first of which was released by Pixar the year they were born. Toy Story. One. And the year these students were born, the internet became publicly traded and promoted as a household item. You could own a web address for the first time. In their lives, the internet has always existed. As you process those thoughts and realize how quickly time has passed, I urge you, the class of 2013, to consider this quote for your future. Because time passes quickly, the people who are here to support you today are just the beginning of the world that's before you. Be soft. Do not let the world make you hard. Do not let pain make you hate. Do not let the bitterness steal your sweetness. Take pride that even though the rest of the world may disagree, you still believe it to be a beautiful place. Thank you for being here for the class of 2013. to say to you as an audience, a family member, a friend, a classmate. I will begin with Briar Avon. I've been at North Point since my freshman year and being here this long I've been taught how to appreciate things. I want to thank my mom for supporting me through all my ups and downs and always being there and being my rock. I also want to thank my Nana. Without you, I would have had some of the coolest opportunities fly right by me. So thank you both very much. Now I want to thank some of the teachers who have helped me along with my amazing journey here. Uh, you were there when I needed you. You helped me grow, and you were just being your awesome selves. So thank you, Ms. Wagner, Mr. Zinni, Mr. Kleiman, Mr. Dyer, Ms. Dolan, Ms. Zyke, Mr. Smith, and Ms. Coliani. Now I move forward to the University of Arizona and begin my journey, and I plan on taking with me what I have gained here. Thank you all. I love you, and I will miss you. Thank you. of my 
parents were to have a few children better in high school. I can proudly stand here and tell them, one down, two to go. <laughs> my parents are the biggest motivation in my life. I want to be just like them, because no one nor anything has stopped them from pursuing their dreams. I've grown into someone I never imagined myself four years ago. I was a shy, timid, short girl. Believe me or not, I was shorter than I am today. Uh, I went from being the quietest in the entire class to the sassy, opinionated young lady I am today. Even though some of these classmates annoy me, I can honestly say I'll miss you guys. No one else will ever meet that quiet Eden. I grew out of that. I'll meet new people, have new challenges, but I'll never be the same. I've been taught how to survive a camping trip. I have learned that I need to learn how to swim before I have my feet kiss the ocean in El Salvador again. I've been taught how to write essays the night before they are due. I have learned how to grab what I envision and make it happen. I have earned confidence in myself. North Point has taught me to never settle for the basic, always reach for more, always question people. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Thank you, Lord. Thank you to all you wonderful teachers. We will meet new people, have new challenges, and have new things to smile at. We're all growing up, and our lives are ending one minute at a time. Now life goes on, so let's live it. North Point was great for me. The only difficult thing was the commute of five feet, especially on a winter's morning, on a Monday morning, when the snooze button seemed broken. Other than that, everything else was great, and I'll miss everyone I met when I got there. People I think are Don, being an awesome crew leader, Wagner for helping me pass the aims, Smith for being one of the best art teachers, Zinni for being Zinni, <laughs> and my parents for giving motivation. Some of my best memories and some people I'm really going to miss chill is chilling with my, all my friends, Craig, Aaron, Kate, Colton, Edith, Raina, Marco, Shayna, and everyone else. I hope you all have a great time in college. So long, and thanks Goldfish. Jason Bartley. So I couldn't come up with a clever opening line to start off this speech with, so that I'll have to do. <laughs> First off, I would like to congratulate the rest of my classmates for making it through these four years of high school. No easy feat, I assure you. But when you have teachers and faculty as great as the ones here at North Point, it certainly makes it a lot more bearable. So I would like to thank every single one of the teachers here, even if I was never taught by you. In a classroom setting, I certainly learned some from each of you. Every one of the teachers here has made a huge difference in my life, and I would write a separate speech for each one of you if I could, but I feel like that would get a little boring for everyone else in the audience except for you guys. So, specifically, I would like to thank uh, Mrs. Wagner, Mrs. Colliani, and Mr. Smith. Mrs. Wagner, you are an amazing person, and I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to meet you and study under your tutelage. Your encouragement throughout the years is inextricably linked to my successes, and maybe even a few failures. I'm really going to miss your sarcasm and witty comebacks whenever I say something stupid, which happens a lot. <laughs> Mrs. Colliani, you are the sweetest teacher slash counselor slash senior advisor that I could ever have. You've always been there to help guide me to where I am today, and words cannot express my gratitude to you. Thank you so much. And Mr. Smith, I've only known you for a year, but you quickly became one of my favorite human beings of all time. You are quite literally the funniest, most random, and coolest person that I've ever met. You always brighten everyone's day with your polarity, and if someone says otherwise, they're probably on drugs. <laughs> Stay awesome, Smith. And don't forget the mayonnaise and butter bricks in your pockets and Vienna sausages pouring out of your ears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really gonna miss all of you guys, in North Point in general. Next, I want to thank my amazing family. My beautiful mother, my dad, and my Bob. You've all played the biggest parts in this crazy story that is Jason's life, and I love you all so much. Thank you for always being there to challenge me and push me towards greatness, and never let me settle for average. And lastly, I want to give God some praise. The Lord has blessed me beyond measure to have been given this time with all these wonderful people and experiences. So thank you all for being awesome, and thank you, Jesus, for being even more awesome. Look out, world! North Point's graduating class of 2013 is coming for you. <laughs> Anthony Brown.
for Amdullah. Okay, when I first came to the school, I thought I was going to be the loner in the corner. But that first day, I think I made about 20 friends because so everybody is just so open. North Point has made me such a better person. I would like to thank TJ for making me see the light at the end of the tunnel, even when I thought there was no light. I would like to thank Zinni for making my sarcasm even better. <laughs> and making learning pretty fun. I would like to thank Dyer for being a great crew leader and for giving me the time of day to just laugh and have great times while doing schoolwork at the same time. And for being there for me when I was having one of those days. I'd also like to thank Wagner for giving me that shoulder to cry on and that great advice. I would also like to thank my parents for pushing me so hard to go to college and graduate high school. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be standing here right now. I love you. I would, I would like to thank the whole senior class for accepting me so quickly and making my last two years of high school the best two years of high school ever. I'm going to miss you all very much. Hopefully, I'll come back as a math teacher. Thank you. Tom Connery. Um, so, coming to North Point in the middle of my junior year was crazy. It was credit loss, health problems, issues with my other school, but I can only say, honestly say it was all horrible, but worth it again. <laughs> Without this school and the friends I've made here, I wouldn't be standing where I am today. I wouldn't have what's awaiting for me in the future. So I'd like to thank those who have helped me out. First, my parents. <laughs> um, thanks for agreeing with me when I said, let's move across the country now, <laughs> when you wanted me to stay and finish my junior year in Connecticut, because that obviously worked out. Um, next, my classmates. I'd like to say that we are the most dysfunctional family ever, <laughs> but <laughs> we are a family, and I think I speak for everyone when I say we've got each other's back, and I never want to go camping with you ever again. <laughs> Now my teachers, the main thing here that made me stay and not switch to another public school. Um, these teachers go out of their way of work um, and out of their social life to help those like myself who have issues that are both educational and non-educational, so thank you very much. Um, I don't know where I would be without these people in my life, my best friends here at the school. Miranda, Skylar, and Jordan, you are all my best friends through thick and thin and you've helped me find who I really am and what's keeping me here. I love you guys. And finally, Ms. Coliani, you're not, um, not only are you holding this entire school up, but you are always there with open arms when I'm going off and... <laughs> um, I am going off to a great college because you pushed me to it. Thank you very much. Marcos Del Rio. It's been a long time coming, guys. A very, very long time coming. I can almost say that I've never been so terrified and excited in my entire life. I almost don't know what to say right now. I'm so ecstatic. So I guess I'll just shoot out some thank yous. Thank you, Bobby, for allowing me to take your hat. Thank you, Bobby's mother, for, well, just being great all these years. Thank you, I see Steven, and I see Jeff, and I see Eli, and I see Alex back there. Thank you guys for showing up. Um, oh, oh, there's my family. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Lindsay and Brian, for helping me so much. And thank you, Abby, for letting me stay at your house sometimes. I honestly don't know what else to say besides thank you, Mr. Smith, for being a great crew leader. Thank you, Ms. Coliani, for being a great crew leader, too. Ms. Wagner, when I first came here, you really just, like, I don't know. We, we clicked pretty well, you know? We had, we had a two-year crew. Wait, no, we only had a one-year crew. See, that's how great it was. That was so much fun than it really was. Uh, I'm just rambling. Mr. Dyer, thank you for just being so great, being such a great English teacher. Mr. Zinni. <laughs> Words cannot express my thoughts for you. <laughs> Tony, it's fun cleaning vans. I love cleaning vans and stuff with you. 
you might come back and do it afterwards. <laughs> TJ, I've been here since your beginning. <laughs> Miss Zyke, thank you for being a great Spanish teacher, even though I already knew Spanish. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Kleiman, thank you for helping me halfway understand math and get through this year. And Mr. Macon, I can honestly say that I haven't seen you in many years. Really. But now that I had your intensive, I realized how much I appreciate you again. Miss Dolan, I forgot you. I'm so sorry. You've been such a great science teacher, and you've been the longest lasting in my time here. <laughs> thank you all. Goodbye. <laughs>
and I don't think I've ever tasted something so bittersweet. I want to thank my teachers who have um, put me out of my comfort zone so many times and found the perfect balance of being a teacher and being a friend. And a very special thank you to Dyer and Zyke, who managed to take me out of the country to Cambodia, El Salvador, Costa Rica, and Mexico. We didn't know it at the time, but you were building my life's passion as I want to spend it traveling. <laughs> um, thanks to my family. You're crazy for putting up with me for so long. <laughs> Between the fundraisers, the friend drama, the late night art projects, <laughs> um, I'm amazed you're still around. <laughs> You've had to pick me up my pieces so many times, and I can never thank you enough for that. You're the weirdest, best family I could ever ask for. <sighs> and that means the world to me. Um, and finally, thanks to all my friends and classmates. It's been one hell of a ride, and it wouldn't be the same without you. It's, and I know, realistically, this is probably the last time we'll ever be together again, but I wouldn't want to be up here with anyone else. Thanks to all of you who have ever listened to me rant, defended me, or hugged me when I'm sad. I love you to the moon and back. We're all moving on, and moving past is part of our life, but I'll always remember it as a place of love, and jokes, and laughs. So all the blown pro tires, the projects, the adventures, given the chance, I wouldn't do it over. Thank you. Craig Erlong. It's been quite an amazing journey these past four years, and I think we are, a little, we are all a little glad to see it end and begin our next adventure in life. Before I chose North Point, I was looking for a school that was smaller and encouraged their students to communicate and work cooperatively with one another. Because I was very shy and didn't really talk much, I wanted to try and step out of my comfort zone. I am pleased that coming to the school has helped me accomplish these goals with our initiatives and improve. I never really thought about how great the school was until I moved away for a short time. It made me stop and really look at what I wanted and needed to succeed. I will miss the hands-on learning experience we accomplished during field work and the amazing support from our teachers to help us achieve our goals. I will miss the teachers I had and the ones I never got the chance to take the class with. In conclusion, I want to thank my family for their loving support and giving they have given me throughout these years. I want to thank all my teachers for the past two years and for helping me accomplish my goals and uh, just being amazing. And I want to thank Ms. Santa Moore and the Fair Office staff for uh, keeping the school running. Thank you. Kate Isbell. Life is like a road trip, and we forgot the map. In life, there's the good, the bad, and the in-between. And I have found, through my experiences at North Point and in my home life, that in order to survive the chaos we call life, you have to find the balance. I found mine in hanging out with Craig and Aaron and listening to Mr. Zenny's life advice. Before I end with a quote, I would like to thank some of the people at North Point who have made me who I am today. Miss Wagner for helping me finally write a good essay. For Miss Dolan, just everything that you have done for me through my three years that I've known you. And Mr. Kleiman, you made me like math. No one's ever done that. <laughs> Here's a quote that I feel fits this moment. Life is a song, sing it. Life is a game, play it. Life is a challenge, meet it. Life is a dream, realize it. Life is a sacrifice, offer it. 
Life is love. Enjoy. seems like it has gone by so fast. I remember when I was just a little innocent girl, scared to go out into the real world. I was so shy and passive, but over these four years I have grown. I am so thankful that I have had the experience of being around my classmates to watch us all grow and mature together. We have all learned so much together, but we would for sure be lost without the help of our caring teachers. Thank you to all the teachers who stayed late after school just to help me with something I was confused on or even those who gave me an extra chance to get extra credit just so I could raise my grade. Thanks to all the staff of North Point who helped me out in my time of need and who gave me advice whenever I was upset or going through a hard time. These people are not only teachers, but they are friends. I don't think that I could have gotten through my high school career without them. I would also like to thank all my family and friends, especially my mom. I know that I had put you a lot throughout while I was in high school especially with all the pains of teenage drama and just growing up. But you stuck with me this whole time, and I cannot thank you enough for that. The same goes out for my sister Brittany and my best friend Chelsea. You guys have helped me through so much throughout these four years. The last person I would like to thank would be my dad. I know that you're not here to see this right now, but I hope that I have made you proud. You have made me into the person I am today, which will help me shape who I will be in the future. I'm looking, looking forward to who I will become and what I will accomplish in these next few years. Soon, I will be going off to college to go to nursing. I can't wait until the day that I will be able to help people and maybe even someday save a person's life. Again, I would like to thank all of those who have helped me through these long four years. Even though I am choosing a separate path of my own to go on, maybe some of us will cross paths again someday. I wish best of luck to all my fellow classmates of the graduating class of 2013. Thank you again. Katie Mitchell. Wow, we're actually here. I think we can all agree that we never thought this day would come and frankly couldn't have come any sooner. But now that I'm actually standing on this stage, at my own super emotional North Point graduation, I can't really believe it. I remember the very first North Point graduation. I cried my little freshman eyes out. I remember going through a whole box of tissues. And for some reason, I still feel like that young girl, not someone who is heading out into the world on her own, but through these experiences, I know that I am. I wouldn't trade these last four years for the world, even with all of the ups and downs. Even the times that we are stranded with the second flat tire of the year complaining. Those times have become some of my favorites, and those were the times that brought us all closer together. And before we all walk out these doors today and say our final goodbyes to this chapter of our lives, I want to thank all of our teachers, I'm not going to look at you because I'll lose it, um, <laughs> for pushing, or for putting up with us even through all of our angst. I especially want to thank Geneva and Mr. Menken for continuing to push me to realize my full potential. Mrs. Wagner, for always giving me inspiration, motivation, and a shoulder to lean on. Mrs. Zyke, for always being compassionate while still reminding me how lucky I am to not live in Libya. <laughs> <laughs> and Mrs. Colyani for always lending a helping hand and heart. And to those international trips for really helping me find myself. And to my friends and family, for seeing me through this journey, and to all of my peers, thank you for consoling me through the bad times and celebrating with me when the good ones came along. Through all of my snarky sarcasm, I really will miss you all. So if that all just wasn't cliche enough for you, I want to leave you with a quote from my favorite childhood author, Dr. Seuss, because North Point taught me to cling to my childhood sometimes. So don't cry because it's over, laugh because it happened.
try as hard as I can not to cry. Uh, okay, so I've never been one to like big crowds or sitting around for one hour after the other. That's why North Point was a perfect fit for me. It's small and unique. I'll remember everything about this place. The learning style, the hands-on experiences to my friends that kept me going throughout. Brenna and Kate, I believe I literally wouldn't have gotten here without their support. And Craig, who's been here with me since first grade and has gone with me until the end. Now finally, the teachers, the people that are the pillars of this place, that keep it going and won't ever be able to be replaced. Ms. Wagner, for the best language arts class and the O the Board Intensive. Uh, Ms. Solon, uh, finding out intensive and thinking about stealing your spoon, Bob Spoon. Um, Mr. Eastman, my last crew leader, and your random handstands and other acrobatics throughout class. Um, and Mr. Zinni, realistically, GSA, sewing your bag and your undefeatable ego. You guys are the ones that made the biggest impact on me and I'll never forget you. I'm, I'm grateful to my parents, the people that filled in the details, the paperwork, helped me get up on time and motivated me but not pressured me to keep my grades up. I can feel how my last camping trip felt just about the same as the first one. Slow, hot, and cold. I was able to get home and take a shower, that familiar feeling of it never ending. And now I'm finally done, but I don't regret anything. And now, a quote. What pains the heart must be washed away with tears. Ben Nord. If I could compare my life to anything, it would be baking. <laughs> when I came to North Point, I was in my rawest form. I was fleshy, pale, and slightly flavored by the hints of hickory, applewood, and brown sugar. But those hints of flavor were only the grounds for what was soon to come. Now as my fleshy exterior, the sizzling pan of North Point's critical thinking pedagogy, <laughs> I had finally begun my educational journey as the browning process. <laughs> as I laid browning, those hints of flavor came to a full body room that was intoxicating not only to myself, but the people around me. <laughs> and at this point, our ability to think for ourselves was truly coming into full form, and we were almost ready for society's consumption. <laughs> now as I stand here as a delicious piece of cooked bacon, <laughs> I can say with conviction that I am ready for breakfast. <laughs> stress with our noses to the grind, kept a level head, and dissipated all of it. So a special thanks has to go... That was thanks. Okay. <laughs> to Mr. Zinni, Ms. Wagner, Mr. Kleinman, Mr. Smith. difficult something got, they have always been there to make us laugh and stop fretting about what we already knew we could do. My second thanks goes to my family for raising me up to be what and who I am today and for making sure I turned out alright. This past year has been a trip. There were laughs shared, fun had, and more than both work to be done. Through the undertaking of senior project, passage, schoolwork, and on top of all of that, getting ready for my new life in college, my parents have been there to be helpful and supportive the entire way, so thank you all. <laughs> Lastly, I'd like to thank my friends.
Owen Surrett, Jason Hartley, Luke Sharp, Jessica Gomez, and Elena Haas for bringing comic relief and relief in general throughout the two years that I've known you all. You're all great people, and I love you, and I miss you. So thank you. shall be our secret weapon. This is my class, 2013 is our year, and so is every year after, because we will not fear taking it for our own. This being said, I'd like to thank a few people. First, my parents, grandmother, and any other relative that has supported me throughout the year. I really couldn't have done it without you guys. I'd like to thank all of my classmates, but especially Jordan and Tom, they handled me at my worst, and Therefore, they deserve me at my best. And finally, I'd like to thank Mitchell, but I don't think he needs an explanation for that, so mm -hmm. we keep going. Uh, I love and appreciate everyone here for watching me succeed and fail, to laugh and cry, and to never fear when I'm scared, because our fearlessness is our, our secret weapon. Luke Sharp. I started my schooling career. I, I was homeschooled until I finally went to a public school in sixth grade. It was still a small school, so coming to North Point was ideal because of the small size, and definitely not because my brother went here beforehand. <laughs> I, I want to thank the teachers that really helped me uh, find out what I wanted to do and just get through my North Point career. Zinni? I could write a whole speech about you, and I know you could do the same for me, but your ego doesn't need that kind of stroking. <laughs> Dyer, thank you for having an awesome last year of crew. When we just needed to release some stress, you let us duct tape you to a chair. <laughs> let's, let's. And Miss Zyke, for the three years of crew that I had, I'm one of the few students at North Point that has had a crew leader for that long, and I don't regret it. And for taking me to Costa Rica and El Salvador. That was pretty cool too. Yeah. <laughs> From what I, and I would also like to thank my parents. Yeah. For, yeah. <laughs> for the, do you have your homeworks done? And have you checked your grades? And just pushing me to do my best, no matter how much I didn't want to. But I'll take everything I learned from North Point and transfer it into my everyday life and as I go into college. Thank you. four years here at North Point have been anything but normal. We've fought, we've laughed, we've definitely cried, and we've loved harder than ever. Few people can say they had a high school experience like ours. Taking Zinni's life advice and Wagner's book recommendations, I learned how to take life head on. I've made friends and I've found myself in the halls of North Point. They've taught me everything from speaking in public to cooking, even if we have had a few bad food mishaps. And through it all, I've learned who I am now and who I want to be in the future. Without my mom encouraging me to always put my best effort forward, and without all the North Point staff that have done the same, I wouldn't be the man that I am today. I'd like to thank a few North Point staff members. Thank you, Mrs. Wagner, for always being there for me, no matter 
what I was going through. Thank you to Mr. Zinni for making me see the positives when I didn't think there were any. And thanks to Mr. Kleiman for teaching me math when no one had the patience to. <laughs> when we walk off this stage today, it's only the beginning of an awesome journey that we call the rest of our lives. I'm going to leave you with this quote. Don't aim for success if you want it. Just do what you love and believe in, and it will come naturally. Verena Sting. Hi, everybody. Um, so I'm here just for a year, but how everybody talks about North Point became another family, or a second family. I have to say North Point became my fourth family, I think. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with my second family because my first is not here. Thank you, Brian and Lindsay and Kelly and all of you guys and Keenan because you just made my year. You, you really did. And I, I'm really sad to go home because I'm leaving home. It's awkward. And I want to thank my third host family, um, Abby and Dave and all the other grills because you just gave me all the freedom. You are amazing people. You teach me so many things every day. It's great. Um, and now I want to come to my fourth toast family, North Point. Every single one of these people right here have taught me a little bit of English while I was here. Some more, some less, but oh well, I think you guys understand me. <laughs> okay, you do. That's good. <laughs> I also want to thank Mr. Dyer for being my English teacher and helping me through a lot. I think. Without Mr. Dyer, you wouldn't understand me, Lily, you wouldn't. <laughs> and I also want to thank Mr. Smith. He was the, I don't know, he, he went through my downs with me. He went through my highs with me. He, we had a lot of fights. I think he was the teacher I was struggling the most with. But I think now we are the best friends. He even let me cut his hair. So, <laughs> I, I'm just really glad to be here, and I'm really sad to go. Um, thank you, everybody. Mia Stone. catching butterflies, to making super cheesy videos about Federalists and Anti-Federalists. <laughs> High school gives you those times you will always remember, but also gives you those times you wish you could forget. It gives you those times in math class when you finally understand something, but once you get home, it looks like ancient Greek text. <laughs> once you make it through the good and the bad, you get to emerge with these stories and peoples who helped you make it through it all, like your friends, teachers, and family. I would like to recognize all the people who helped me through high school. So, Ms. Wagner who made me love English, Mr. Zinni for all his shenanigans, and Ms. Dolan who showed me how exciting science could be. And my family, my parents, for pushing, pulling, and encouraging me through this experience, Joanna for always believing in me, and the rest of my family for being there when I needed to rant. So, I'm going to end my speech with a Neil deGrasse Tyson quote. The problem, often not discovered until late, late in life, is when you look for things like love, meaning, and motivation, it implies that they are sitting behind a rock or under a tree. Other way around, I said that wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Most successful people in life recognize that they create their own love, they manufacture their own meaning, and they generate their own motivation.
There is an Irish saying that goes, Our ska, Akela, Awir, and Nadina, which means, under the shelter of each other, people survive. We have definitely been through a lot together, but we helped and supported each other through it all. It's funny, most of us have spent the last four years waiting for this day, but now that it's here, we can't but feel nostalgic. I can remember over the past few years and how different we all were. Even just last year, our class dynamics were so different. We argued all the time, and the it was rough. I don't know how we made it, but we did. And look at us now. I mean, I can't imagine my life without all of you in it. You really are my family. Well, I know, sitting right there. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many people to be grateful for. If I don't thank you now, I hope I've already told you how much you mean to me. And if I haven't, I will. Um, but there are some people I would like to thank while I'm up here. Of course, everyone always thanks their family, so I will. Thank you. <laughs> Second, I'm going to thank North Point in general for making us all do senior project, even though none of us wanted to. <laughs> we got to see one another step into who we're becoming, and I'm so excited for all of you. But the people who I truly want to thank, though, are our teachers. Thank you for caring about me and supporting me through it all. Thanks for asking if I was okay, even when I didn't want to talk about it. <coughs> Most importantly, thank you for being patient. Thank you for extending deadlines, taking late assignments, and giving me second chances, and thirds, and fourths. Thank you for always asking, do we have Brenna before leaving anyway? <laughs> I'm sure you'll all agree that this has been a hard year to get through, but I'm sure you'll all also agree it's been like nothing else. So as we move forward into this scary big world that I know you all can handle, I just want to leave you with some words of advice from Albert Einstein. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. <laughs> me, or at least tolerate me, and that's pretty amazing. TJ and Zinni, you should know that there are very few men I look up to outside of books. But I look up to the two of you more than I can say. Even if I give you a hard time, I admire and respect you both. I appreciate the stories you've shared and the time you've given us in crew, class, and intensives. I'll miss you. say thank you to Ms. Wagner. Not only have you been a fantastic teacher and crew leader, you've always been there for me. At times when I felt like there was no one else who would listen, I could go to you. Even if it was nothing more than sharing fantastic books, you always made time for me no matter what. If there was one person that believed in me and wanted me to be myself, it was you. It was you who showed me that I'm a mother to dragons, and I can never thank you enough for that. Jordan Wells. picturing my graduation, my grad night on the beach, all of us refusing to let go and parting with tears as we realized how much time we wasted. We would reminisce about collapsing tents, broken down vans, wicked sunburns, and capsizing kayaks. It would be heart-wrenchingly classic. We all spent so much time just waiting for high school to be over, dying for the day we walked across that stage and walked out the last four years. 
Now that we're here, it's terrifyingly thrilling. I can't imagine my life without these people and their shenanigans. Nothing will ever fill the void I'll feel when I'm no longer in a classroom, with Miranda sitting across from me, Katie's laugh echoing through the room, and Chloe's comments that will make you laugh uncontrollably if you're lucky enough to hear them. The only way I can truly express my feelings is with a quote, as usual. Imagining the future is a kind of nostalgia. You spend your whole life stuck in a labyrinth, thinking about how you'll escape it one day, and how awesome it will be, and imagining that future keeps you going. There's a lot of people that I can never thank enough for making sure I walked across this stage, whether they dragged me here or not. I owe so much to my teachers, my friends, and the music and the books that helped shape me, and obviously my mom. Hi, Mom! <laughs> Koliani, without you, I would have sunk like Titanic this year. Mr. Smith, you taught me that I'm able to do art without having an anxiety attack. And Miss Wagner, when I first came to North Point, I was lucky enough to have that moment where I found a teacher that changed everything for me. I could go on for days about you. As cliche as it sounds, you changed my life. I will never forget the countless things that you taught me. They went so far beyond the realm of education. For once, my words will not do my feelings justice. I love you, and I'll miss you more than I can say. And my friends, Kessie, Miranda, Ryan, and Tom, the four of you made my world go around this year, and without you, I honestly don't think I'd be here giving this speech today. I cannot tell you how thankful I am for our little infinity. I wouldn't trade it for the world. You gave me a forever within the number of days, and I'm grateful. Vince Witowski. I remember when I was younger, I couldn't wait until the year I graduated. It seemed so far away, but I just couldn't wait until the day came. But that day is dead. And I don't feel that way anymore at all. Uh, growing up isn't as fun as most people think. You have to work a job, and then you have to pay bills and food, and then after all that, you don't have much left over all the time. So for those of you that haven't reached that point yet, you want to take it kind of slow. Uh, but I can't forget the people that have helped me reach this point to where I am now. My mom, my dad for supporting me and a lot of weird stuff I do. Uh, my sister for putting up with me for the time I stayed with her. My brothers for supporting me and the weird things I do. Jordan Finn. <laughs> Especially you, Julie. <laughs> oh, then, of course, all the teachers here and Tony because they taught me most of what I know and they were a lot more than teachers, they were good friends with us. So it's been an interesting he year here, and I'm going to miss all the fun we had. So I'm just going to have a quote to end my speech. <clears throat> so long, farewell, off with the shush, goodbye, I'm glad to go, I cannot tell a lie. The sound of music. <laughs> Unlike the typo in the program, this really is the class of 2013, and I'd like to point out some accomplishments of this class. If you would stand, please, because you are wearing a special green stole. These students are representing those trips that they have excursioned upon during their senior, junior, sophomore, or freshman year with us at North Point. The flags representing the countries that they traveled to. So these students worked extra hard for fundraising and travel opportunities in their four years of high school. Congratulations. In addition to our international travelers, we have amongst us an exchange student. I'm sure you recognized that she didn't have the full command of English, but has done an incredible job this year and made all of us quite proud of her time. Verena, please stand. <laughs> and amongst our senior class, we have some students who are privileged to be wearing the honor cords, the golden cords that represent the honors courses they completed while they were with us. 
honors students. Please stand.